who doesn't enjoy starting off their day admiring their parasaur on top of their brand new base yeah I told you guys I'd be showing it off Welcome to the sandbar, our brand new base with a little metallic help to connect us to fiber, wood, and thatch that constantly respawns in addition to a little bit of flint and stone and the occasional bit of metal. I mean... That is my word of advice. And we have an egg the onyx, of course. We always have egg the ornus issues. That's the only downside of this. And this is gonna hurt. Or maybe not. But, with sulfur breath here, the Ichthyornis don't really stick around for long. Yeah. Not for very... Not very long. But yeah, this is the sandbar. Uh, how I got all that metal? Loot drops. If you want unlimited metal structures, hit up all of these loot drops. I'm telling you, it comes in handy. Do not throw away uh, structures you get from loot drops unless you know. Unless you absolutely know you're not going to use them, don't throw them away. Because, look... I put them to great use here. Xyphactinus spawn in these waters. In fact, there was a uh, Xyphactinus right here earlier. I wonder if it's still there. Yep, there they are. It's a pair of Xyphactinus right there. But with these metal structures, we don't have to worry about being chewed on to death. It's, it's amazing. But the sandbar still got a little work. Uh, that needs to be done. And I know I'm flying around quite a little bit fast. So I'm going to hop off of you. And hop back on to... Actually, I'm going to hop onto Pink Floyd in case we come across any, any trouble. Uh, but yeah. And then I need to hit up more loot drops for more metal structures to connect us to the funnel. Now the funnel I'm still working on. But the reason I named it the funnel is because this thing right here, it looks like a funnel. I'm just saying. Doesn't that look like a funnel? Yeah, it looks like a funnel. And again, more metal structures connect us to this thing. And this thing right here is the bridge that connects the... Uh, Center's version of Carno Island, which used to be Half Burnt Island. Unfortunately, it's not Half Burnt anymore. Uh, it looked really cool when it was Half Burnt. But it connects this little bit all the way over there. We're not going to build over there, though. Um, we'll probably, if we build anywhere along the bridge, our cutoff point will probably be around this tree yeah because it gets really narrow right here so I could just if I had a metal gate I could just uh just a metal gate right there and I think we would be just fine but yeah so I'm thinking for base building that's probably what I would do but for now, I mean, the funnel, there's more work to be done on the funnel. Plus, you get a little metal over here, which is pretty cool, too. Uh, but there's still quite a bit of work to be done on the funnel. Um, you'll notice this is where OG Dan, OG Danielle, 
And then we have Woody, Central Spin, and Central Metallico. Dillos do still spawn on here, so I have them all on neutral. And it hasn't been an issue. So. But yeah. If you go inside the funnel, there's not much in here yet. Uh, just, just some beds in case I die and need to respawn. Uh, I'm gonna work on it though. I'm gonna work on expanding it, maybe putting some more stuff. Uh, who knows, maybe putting an elevator in the center and doing all my builds up here. Who knows? But, yeah, that's basically, uh, the new bases I have going. Uh... Here at the sandbar, I don't have much going on. Uh, just yet. Hello. You're 140. We get so many 140 Tyranodons around here. Uh, I have some Overraptors here. But I don't have them on egg collection because they won't collect any eggs. And I don't like them wandering around because they get out of the base and they cause a bunch of trouble. But yeah, so not not much is going on here yet. And the reason I have it made out of uh, just wood and thatch is because I'm not worried about anything breaking in here. Um, I mean, we do have spinos that spawn. But they're all the way over there. And I'm thirsty. I mean, we do have... That was a fail. I mean, we do have Spinos that spawn all the way over here. Um... Not seeing any right now though but usually the worst thing we get are spinos and baryonyx but you know they spawn all the way back here so we don't really have to worry about it our biggest concern is going in the water with the uh, Zyphactinus so as long as we have a bridge made out of metal uh, we're usually pretty dang safe over here and yeah I'm really enjoying it and this is one of the best spots to get Tyranodon because you can get so many Tyranodon around here look 145 I mean, it's just amazing what all you can get around here. <clears throat> but enough of showing off the base. Um, <clears throat> excuse me for my scratchy throat. Today, we are actually going to the underground world. And the reason we're going under there is we are going to go lessy breeding. Because... I want to go and see if we can find some Mosas to take out. And Plessis can do a good job at taking out Mosas if you do it just right. In my personal opinion, they can do a pretty dang good job. I'm not... I'm confident in Dan Jr., but not as confident in him as I would be with a Plessy. So... Yeah, we're going to head to the underground world and do some plessy breeding and imprinting. And yeah, I'm going to head over, get all the imprinting stuff I need. And I will see you guys in just a bit. All right. Flaming Fiend, are we ready? We.
completely forgot to bring a, bring a flyer with me. Well, we'll just have to make do. Now that we are down here... Go ahead, park it. Let's see, the theory is going to get us all of our berries that we need. Let's see, one. I have one platform saddle and one regular saddle that I got from Leap Drop, so that's what I'm going with. I didn't bring the oxygen tank because I'm not going to need it. I just need the flippers. Okay, dude, why won't you line up? Behavior, enable mating. Behavior, enable mating. Yes, you are mating. Wait, we need you on passive. Okay, I need my fins on. Fins off. Thing one. Okay, we should be good seed-wise. I'm just gonna get a little fiber though. Just to be safe. Good thing is you guys just ate, so I don't have to worry about an egg. How long is your gestation going to take? should be able to see 15 minutes okay now let's go over here to you if you're disable mating give me that saddle back Should have brought a baryonyx, but whatever. Okay, so now we just have 15 minutes. 
until we have a baby. Eight. Six. Four. Two. Baby Plessy, 209. Move you out of the way. Go back in the water and go over and claim, little fella. Now where is the baby? There you are. You need some food. Worry, flaming fiends got you covered. Flaming fiend has a big old diet. A varying diet. Come here. There we go. Now we have you closer to land. It will be easier. Now we can put mom away. you too close to land because when you grow up I don't want you to get beached. That's the last thing I want is for this little are you a dude or a dudette? You are a dudette. That's the last thing I want is for this little dudette to get beached and die. In the meantime, uh, I think, yeah, in the meantime, we're just going to wait for that clock to go down and see what she wants. All right, and she is all raised up. We have ourselves officially a Nessie. Officially. It is official. Now where is something we can eat? So we can see what you hit for. Because your stats are 468 melee and 13,000 hit points. Not bad at all, I must say. Nessie is not half bad. Should be some fish around here. There were earlier. So, I swear I saw some earlier. Well, I could be mistaken. I could very much be mistaken. Aha! There's a turtle. 456. Not bad.
turn radius is the only downside. Plessy is the turn radius. Everything else is great. But yeah, that's the only downside. Um, but yeah, now that we have her raised up, she needs to be leveled up. So... I'm gonna have to level her up, and I was not paying attention to the time, because I'm actually out of recording time. So, yeah, that was a mistake on my part. That's my fault. That is my fault, I am owning up to it. So, yeah, I was going to take her out and level her up and show her around, but I'm actually out of recording time, got other stuff I need to do. So, what are you running from, Mo Shops? Well, to bed, Dillo. There are a lot of Dillos uh, on this island. Oh, I heard a Pego. At least I thought I heard a Pego. Hmm. I'm hearing things. Well, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I know it's a bit of a shorter one. But, yeah, I wish I could do more. But, you know, I'm out of time. And time is just really, really unfortunate. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Next time, I swear, I promise, we are going to go after Black Pearls. I promise you that. So, hey, I hope you, again, enjoyed the episode. I keep rambling. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.